how do you start a new document in Clip Studio Paint EX or Pro? Well, let me show you. It's very easy, but there are several options that you need to be aware of. If you go up here and hit File, New, just like any other program, you are presented with different selections and we'll real quickly go through these. The one I use the most is this one, even though there is a comic one here. I just click on this. I know that my custom size in inches is 11 by 17 at 300 DPI especially if you're doing a full color comic, that should be perfect for you. Uh, that's the American comic sizes. The presets are in um, different sizes and we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, I don't mess with the presets on here, but if I hit okay, you'll see it throws up a canvas, gives me the paper color and one uh, normal layer that I can draw on a uh, raster layer, which means it is not vector. The difference being that vector is ones and zeros and you can enlarge it and it won't lose line quality raster is drawing with pixels so if i go back up here to new the next thing is webtoon and this is a uh, fairly new one i believe but if you click on here and you've been on webtoon you know that it is a long scrolling format you can see the, the canvas right here it's going to give you that long scroll so you can either dump your uh, pre-drawn art in it or draw right on here uh, again, this one is the comic. This uh, The presets are all A4, A5. They're Japanese, uh, European sizes. Uh, there, there's The one thing that is missing on here is uh, the tabloid, or um, I believe it is tabloid, 11 by 17 American comics. But it'll give you a lot of uh, different things, um, different options here. Almost too much. With the fanzine, this is... Um, um, I've never made a fanzine, but again, it's just telling you how to face, like, where's the spine width and all these different things. Again, if you are making fanzines, you probably know more about all these setups than I do, but just be aware that if you are just making comics or illustrations, you probably won't use this one. And if you just want to see everything you can do to a comic, well, that's this one, the little comic page with a little settings tool here. You can get into the borders, inner sizes, their templates. You can do everything you need to do um, in here. And again, it's all the same templates, every one of them from Webtoon down here to um, uh, some Japanese print settings. Um, and the last one is animation. And the default setting is, I believe, 1920 by 8, uh, 1080. But uh, you only have three choices, either 720, 1280, or 1920. And uh, you can select how many, uh, fr your frame rate over here, 10 frames per second, 12. Um, and once you hit that to show you what that looks like, this gives you the little area that you can draw in. The only thing that would show would be in this template. One note about this one is if you do use this one, you have to go over here to window and click timeline to get this. Otherwise it is not going, to, you, you will bang your head against the wall trying to figure out how it will work. So those are the basic settings on how to get going. Again, the one I use the most is this, just the basic illustration one right there. But uh, you can um, let me know in the comments if anything was unclear or if there's something else that you'd like a tutorial on in Clip Studio Paint that I can do in a later tutorial. So in the meantime, go check out my Clip Studio Paint tutorial playlist. I've got lots of stuff in there and I'll see you next time.